Our next guest says that even a six-month pause of development that the likes of Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak have called for isn't enough to fix current problems. Joining us this morning, Elevation Partners co-founder Roger McNamee. Roger, it's great to have you, you know, listening to the president and listening to analogs about, oh, well, drug trials, we don't let companies just put new drugs on the market without testing. That's sort of the line you're drawing, too, in this piece. Yeah, Carl, I think the, the key question that really needs to be asked is should corporations be allowed to run unsupervised experiments on the entire population without any safety nets or guardrails? It's the question we have not been asking until this week. And in my mind, it matters because we now have roughly 12 years of evidence of what happens when you allow big tech to do that. I'm sure it's going on in other sectors. I don't pay as close attention to them. But in tech, there's really been no requirement to think about consumer safety. There's been no requirement to protect democracy. The only requirement is to maximize shareholder value. And when you give people a single variable to focus on, everything else gets ignored. And that's what we've had over the last dozen years. And with AI, you're now at a scale where it's really obvious what's going to go wrong, and there's no excuse for allowing it to happen. What, what is going to go wrong, Roger? So, Carl, think about it this way. An artificial intelligence is only as good as the training set used to create it. And so if you're making something for drug discovery or whatever, you're going to train it on very, very high-quality data. The consumer-facing artificial intelligences, so think about ChatGPT or GPT-4, are trained in a very different way. They don't want to pay people for the massive amounts of data that they get, so they scrape it off the web, which means they're getting an awful lot of their data from sites like Reddit, which, look, Reddit's a great site, but there's nobody there making sure that the stuff that's on there is actually accurate. And so the result is you have a garbage in, garbage out problem. And when you apply this to things like search, which is what Microsoft has been trying to do and which Google is talking about doing with BARD, you wind up giving people answers that are completely unreliable, yet they sound incredibly persuasive. So as one Princeton professor said, you know, ChatGPT is a BS machine. I'm shortening that to allow it for network collision. <laughs> but that is the fundamental problem we're dealing with here. It's like our information ecosystem is already polluted. We don't want to dumb it down even more. AI has so much promise. And it is so costly that we really should take the time and care to get it right. I hear you, Roger. And and really, you know, prominent CEOs even in, around the space like Elon Musk have called for a pause. I just I have yet to hear what those guardrails or regulations should be. This is something Congress should take on. They can't they haven't even figured out how to deal with social media. Yeah, to be clear, I think that is a very real issue. And I think it starts with what the president has done today, which is to call on the executives of the companies to, in fact, hold themselves accountable. When Sam Altman comes out there and says, hey, look, I'm actually afraid of what the AI products that we're creating can do, you know, he's doing that to effectively diffuse criticism. He isn't actually taking any of the steps, and we have to ask them to take steps. And the key point here is that when they throw these things out into the wild, they're asking all of us to effectively complete the training of the artificial intelligence. And they're doing so by transferring all the risk of that from the companies to us. And that should not be allowed. My personal preference would be to see something that is like the Food and Drug Administration, that does require demonstration of safety as a condition of market access, not just for AI, but really for all tech products, because we've gotten to the point now where the scale of these things is so great. And frankly, the ability of journalists, policymakers, and consumers to anticipate risk ahead of time isn't good enough. So we do, in fact, need some organization that is highly trained, extremely well-funded, that, that can work to make sure that this stuff is safe. I, don't, I think the arguments that we need this to compete with China are completely misplaced because we compete with China best when we focus on American values, you know, like entrepreneurship, like democracy. We do best with aircraft and technology and, and you know, uh, say, movies and things like that. But we don't do best by 
doing things that compete on China's terms, which is to say massive scale and authoritarian models. And AI, unfortunately, looks way more like China's strengths than it does like ours, as it's yeah. being done today.